welcome to session number 16 of Outlander's Guide to Lenaria! Woo! Yes. Hello! 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 Hello. Hi! Welcome! <laughs> well, well, where did Dennis go? I mean, <laughs> there, has have been, uh, there have been problem. some technical difficulties. Oh no! <laughs> His computer is possessed. Oh. Uh, only when it starts tabletop. Oh. Yeah. It needs a, a doctor and a priest. Oh no, it's happening again. It just had the intro thing. Oh. All right. The, 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 that gives Jason more time to prepare the recap. No, I mean, it's... it's I'm not touching it anymore. It's it's there. It's it's <laughs> in the Discord before. channel. It is? Uh, yeah, you all need to... I guess... Winter might not be able to read it without streaming it. I don't know. Or can oh, you? No, I, can. I yes, think yes, what I can. Do we have so you time? You can do the NPCs? Can... Uh, can... Oh. I don't know. I can either watch the stream until I reinstall it. I'll, I can stream for you. Or one of you streams on Discord. For me. I'll stream. Yeah. You have to reinstall all of TTS. I mean, I don't. It's I don't bad. know what to tell you. <laughs> oh my I don't god! Know how to explain that. I, it, well, it's I left bad. you it's ten minutes bad. ago, and everything was fine. No. Oh, it wasn't. Yeah, no. He's... <laughs> have you tried <laughs> running it window? Uh, I don't. Is there an option? Well, I already clicked uninstall. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a way to launch it when it is Steam. Well, <laughs> thanks. Okay, Tim Pump Simulator is small, it's go. fine. How fast is German internet? I have 100 download, so should be pretty fast. Okay. <clears throat> it's okay. Also, for I'm streaming future, for him for now. <laughs> you could right click on the game and choose verify game cache, uh, verify game integrity, and that's better than uninstalling and reinstalling. Yeah. Just well, me. I'll keep that in mind for next time. <laughs> 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 I was trigger happy with my fingers. <laughs> uh, it's it's kind of cathartic to uninstall uh, and yeah. then reinstall a program fresh. You know, this yeah. one doesn't have any saved data in it, but you yeah, know. it's it's like it's it's like it's Changing like throwing out a batch week. of bad cookies and making a new one. Or that. I don't know what my first example was. It's like yeah, killing a baby and making cookies. another one. What the? Oh. What? <laughs> I, I don't know. Why yeah, it's exactly there? like that. Which brings <laughs> yeah. us to our session recap. <laughs> yeah, speaking of killing babies. <laughs> Man, why are you guys? Well, here we go. We didn't just offer to replace them. Oh, I totally you actually, I had a, an idea. I recommend I had an idea. Jason taught to me. So there's a beautiful symmetry to this. Okay. <laughs> Listen. So we have, we have a wolf man, who lost his wife and two children. Oh no! <laughs> On the other side, we have a wife and wife two children, two children. <laughs> who lost their father. She recently reevaluated her position on mixed race relationships. <laughs> oh god, humans! This is a beautiful moment, a beautiful healing moment. It's yes. like symbolic. It's poetic. Oh man, it's Liana really great that we don't have like a huge following because the fan art and fan fiction would run rampant. <laughs> <laughs> it would get out of hand very quickly. I um, shipped this only for the reason that I don't want to feel the unmeasurable guilt anymore. You make mistakes. They go from they go from getting eaten by wolves to being raised by wolves. Oh, I thought uh, you were going to say something else, and I was so scared. Or, uh, not... yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, the other, yeah, the other e one. Eaten by yeah. wolves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's still happening. Ah. Say it quickly. Message me what you told me to do. Uh, I mean, if you reinstall the thing, the last thing I told him won't help. Really? Try running uh, it did you update your your graphics card drivers? Yeah, it was already updated. No, no. What was the issue to begin with? I mean, it's going black. I don't black know how to black describe black it. Black and black. Yeah, yeah. It's what? like I don't know how to describe it without it using like a, obscene like language. Of, yeah. How like do I start? Visual effects of like a 
glitchy screen. It's it was like, disheveled. Yeah, glitchy screens. That is true. Yeah. Damn. How do I start it in window mode? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, trying to find it. There's, a, there's like a run commands thing, and like you have to manually type in, and I think it's just hyphen windowed. But let me make sure. You know what? You uh -oh. do the, you do can the, we do the recap? recap. Yeah, and you can message me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's in. It's in. You've got Discord open, right? Yeah. So it's in the oh. the recaps channel. Oh, and so uh, everyone got it. You might want to download the actual text files so you can see the wrapped text, or you can open it in there and see how you do. Uh, real quick, just make sure you open the whole thing. Uh, if you open your tabletop sim and it's still doing the thing, just press Alt Enter and that'll force it into window mode. Oh. Mm -hmm. Genius. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Hey, you guys watching? You enjoying this? Yeah. <laughs> Is every person ready for the recap? Yes. I'm ready. Very. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to preface this with the fact that I did this in like an hour and it's terrible. So, okay. <laughs> Recap time. We're all going to read. It's going to be a line reading. It's going to be fun. All right. Woo! Uh, DM is going to do the NPCs. Uh, there isn't much uh, setting notes. It's pretty much just like say the thing and then we're there. So mm -hmm. I guess I can do that. Okay. Last time. Starting at the Atari Flow Camp. Starting with Fuse. Ooh, ooh. That's me. <clears throat> yes. A so-called truth spell? We will never allow you to taint us with your heinous foreign witchcraft, you can you can can Conniving. <laughs> I might have spelled it wrong, I don't know. You conniving dogs! If you want, I can stab you in the mouth instead. Uh, we will take the truth spell. <laughs> Temple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we will finally get the truth out of you, out of you snakes. No, sneaks. Both words. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> what do you people know of va va pax? Pax. Oh, it's pax. <laughs> I don't know why I said pax. What do you people pax. know of pax's death? <laughs> Uh, okay, now whether you have to slash. harmonize with yourself. Okay. <laughs> Fuse slash Tirk. Well, we don't know shit. And Sarabeth was like, what? Well, italics? What does that mean? Oh, uh, they don't know shit. That'll be 250 gold. <laughs> Town Square! Mm, yummy rock candy. What's that you spent your money on, Professor? It looks like the uh, chemistry set my granny has in her shed. Oh, I'm Pond. <laughs> yeah, you're Pond, obviously. Pond. Oh, we are going back to our college days, eh? Oh, no, no, I have just decided I'm getting into microbrewing. This ooplu that's been rotting in my satchel this past week bears a mysterious odor that I find quite remarkable. I must be the one to unlock its secrets. Oh, brewing. Yeah, that's what my granny does, too. I forgot, hold on, I forgot the music. Surprise! Ah! Surprise! Ah! <laughs> Brooke, are oh. gonna say it? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> hey, Telix, weren't we supposed to tell Pontifex about what happened at Liana's? Oh, uh, we played Monopoly? About what the kids told you? Oh, yeah. So, uh, I'm thinking maybe everyone who gets knocked out on the door, you might start seeing sexy elf men, and it's definitely not just me. And anyways, I want to track him down and uh, figure out why he's connected to Vakanath and dying? Uh, maybe we should go round up a few gnomes and beat them into a coma to see what happens, eh? hey -o! <laughs> Seriously, though, back in basic, we nearly called each other at least twice before breakfast every day, and I've never heard of this. <laughs> Uh, Telex, are you sure there isn't something else you might have in common with these two fatherless boys? Farming. <laughs> Anyways, I need to organize my list of questions for the dragon. I, I don't want to see the dragon anymore. You couldn't even kill all the gnomes and you suck! Oh. Storms away. 
Awkward. I'll, I guess I'll give it a miss too. Honestly, I'm getting kind of bored of dragons. Man, Rook is so cool. <laughs> At the dragon's nest! Uh, uh. <laughs> you want to do this? And you will refer to his radiance only as such. And if he sneezes, you say, thank you, your radiance. So, uh, big dragon dude, uh, my homie, what is the dealio with this little crystal? So, the dragons in this place, they are weird. Big weirdos made out of gemstones. That's one of their gem fangs. Oh, like this, uh, the solitary gem wolf we read that you have. Yes, the one gem wolf you killed out of the many that live around here. Yes, yes, uh, glad that we wrapped up the problem for good. So, uh, have you seen this man on the poster I drew? Uh, here he is from a different angle. Here's what I think he'd look like in a crop top, if that helps. <laughs> <laughs> it's a purple elf. Drow. Obviously. Hmm. Something. Something. Dreams. All of the time you spent on Nadaria has been on this little peninsula. It's not where any of the cool shit is. It's where the Liberians send all of their rejects to fend for themselves amongst one another. Think of it like Florida. You need to get out of here. <laughs> oh, and look, we also found Jemuel. <laughs> You've been keeping that secret all this time, and you seriously show that to me now. Do you have any idea how easily I could kill you all and take this? You're lucky to have met Javiel before. I can't stand the prick. Get a smug ass out of my town. Wait, but I have at least ten more questions. <laughs> Meanwhile, another fun bonding moment between Pip and Brooke. And anyways, once she broke her cane over me, uh, she got even more mad. And then... Uh-huh. So, why do you want to go back to your granny again? Oh, she's very nice. She saved my life. And then, she put a noose around my neck, and if I ever want to be free, I have to get her some stuff to, to make her special medicine. So, mostly that. Hey, we're back! Oh, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, straight to bed. I can't wait to finally get a long, long, nice, uninterrupted night of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you for the wolf. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. Another wolf. Let's please try not to kill this one this time, please. Here is how it is, dog man. We killed your wife. We blew her head half off <laughs> and chopped her into little pieces. We passed these little pieces around for some of us about money, but others wanted to keep our teeth as souvenirs. We killed the wolf woman. Given the chance, we'd probably do it again. We didn't kill your children, but given the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ateka, you're telling them that we come in peace? Yeah, I think <laughs> that is off the table. <laughs> Bro, sharpening his katana. All right, let's do this. <laughs> in the end, they did not, but probably later. That's it! <laughs> oh. oh, man. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs>
Great recap. Great recap, everyone. Thank you. Alexa, thank you. Alexa, thank you. good job, Jason, for writing that <laughs> yeah. in the last half hour. <laughs> oh, uh, it was like an hour, like a full hour. Okay. You gotta have like a like a sword noise. There we go. Swing. There you go. Oh, oh, Ooh. yeah. Yeah. Can you do that sound every time I talk? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I can. Please. <laughs> I can do it every time you attack too. <laughs> for that I have to. For that I have to roll. That isn't a miss. <laughs> uh, I might have that too. I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> That's you tripping and falling over your own katana. <laughs> falling into your own. Thoughts about a ride. Oh, and then after the trip and fall into the mud. Or or Great. or more like. <laughs> 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 Soundboards! Right, sound <laughs> <laughs> That's what you all came for. <laughs> that should be our April Fool session, just soundboard only. <laughs> yeah, en <laughs> enable like all of the obnoxious Twitch stuff. Hold on, let me see if uh, next uh, April 1st is on a Sunday. It's on a Friday. Eh, oh well. Oh, Another oh, time. Well. Maybe one of these years. Year. I'll see you after that. <clears throat> In at least 10 more years. Yep. I oh. hope Austin is already preparing the next campaign. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, my friends. Uh, we inspiration! Uh, right? Some uh, inspiration? No, no. That's, oh, she's that's not giving me inspiration for that. <laughs> what? <laughs> There we go. <laughs> uh, Wait, why do I have a dice of inspiration? I don't think I should have one. I gave mine to Jason. What? Why? What? Because he didn't have I, one? I... It was Neither for... Uh... It was hmm. definitely during the session where we got freed from the gnomes. It almost killed Yeah, him. yeah, I think I remember that too. I yes, it happened. Don't well, see you having inspiration on your table, I, Dennis. I yeeted it. Oh, yeah, someone what? yeeted it. Across but where the is room. it? <laughs> no, don't I, litter I don't in my room. <laughs> where did it go? It's probably on the floor. I like no it was, idea. it was launched from the table. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking. I don't see anything on the floor. It might be it's out gone. The <laughs> oh, now we're gonna load that single die every single time we load oh, wait, in. Hold is this it behind? I can see a single dice behind your DM screen on the front of, like, on the table. That's the one I copy whenever I give you one. All um, the inspirations are Somehow it pinged of off it. the wall, hit the ceiling fan, rode a chair, and then landed back there. <laughs> I mean, all I'm saying is that Austin has two inspiration dice, now that I have I mean, you would have had Long. three, but he gave me the <laughs> one from yesterday. Uh, Sounds like Peter right. isn't in dire circumstances every session like the rest <laughs> of us. Okay. <laughs> someone is a smart player. <laughs> My friends, uh, you have the... You're still in the forest and the werewolf has just left. What is your plan? <laughs> well, I think... All of us except Brooke were walking away. You know, I do have the teeth in that some bones of his wife, if it would help if I were to... <laughs> Wait, what What did he mean? What, what did he mean we killed his wife? The wolf in the forest. They were lycanthropes. They were what? Okay. It's, it's, it's a curse. Is, uh, it's... You've ever read the book about the uh, Animorphs? It is a similar concept. <laughs> no. Oh, great. Now that exists in canon. <laughs> it's something oh, wrote it. <laughs> he wrote it under a pen name. <laughs> it's a curse that can afflict people. It's. It's possible to cure. It's something... Something powerful clerics can cure. 
doesn't exactly seem like something he wants to be cured if uh, his wife was a wolf. Oh no. Did Tekka translate everything he said to us? Well, not everything. No, not everything. Unless, unless I seem just the important bit. Off screen, but... yeah. yeah that we <laughs> killed his wife and kids died because of it. Yeah. So Tekka, why why did he leave? Uh, well, I think Tekka mentioned that. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's te yeah, he Tekka said be he was gonna coming yeah. back for vengeance. And we're just gonna let that happen? Don't you think the man deserves time to grieve? I mean... Yeah, but not if he's trying to kill us afterwards. Is a fair point. Like, don't get me wrong, I understand that what we have done here is clearly not what we intended to do but I think as... the best way to look at it is enough blood has been shed for now and if we're ever going to try to heal this it's something that we'll have to deal with in the future when emotions have died down Tekka did he seem like that he would be willing to talk about this? I sensed no intent to mix words. I mean, just to make this clear, we're letting him go, and at one point in the future, when, potentially, Pontifex is by himself again, he will attack? And take us one by one? Just find the last time? I mean, those were little birds. This is a gigantic wolf. Well, and not to sound too macabre, but I seem to do just fine against his wife. True. If he has a similar <sighs> vulnerability to fire and acid, then uh, perhaps he will back off. No! No! We already killed one, isn't that bad enough? I have no wish to kill him. That was him, a but... person. That was a person. It was uh, her or the children. I mean, yeah. Alex just kind of sits down and puts his knees up to his chin. I mean, Not once really again, I... on the. Uh greater good discussion, the sacrifice one to save two sort of line of thinking, but uh, we had no way of knowing. From the information we were told, the events we have heard, it was a animal that was devastating a town, and we had every intention to hunt it down, and then we found that uh, there were children in danger, and we acted on instinct. don't think this was... I mean, it was our fault, of course, but given the same situation, I believe we would take the same actions again. Hmm. It is regrettable that the consequence has come out this way. Someone has lost more because of it, but... No mention was made of the farmers. We are the only targets. You don't think he won't come after Fortis and Alien then? He said he had been away for long. He would not know. What he seems to recognize us somehow. Like he already knew who we were. He might have picked up our scent. And if he picked up our scent, he will probably have picked up 
the sand does the two boys as well. You think a man who has lost his wife and children would be so brash as to kill two other children? Yeah. Does he believe them capable of killing his wife? Or is the likely culprits the two human children on a farm? Or us? I mean, it sounds more like an eye for an eye for me. Right? If he is the type of man to exact vengeance on a town and upon children, then I will have no regrets about uh, when we come to blows. But do we really want to wait for that? For him to strike first? Potentially yeah, lose Kanye any of us? Recently, and it ended poorly. No. You can't go in there now. It's night and it's his territory. There's other th things out there too. We should go. We need to leave town. Get the scent away from the people here. And if he were to go to the town directly, I trust that the gnomes would be more than capable of handling the situation. Not to mention Lady Serebeth or Rosir Gamir himself. Not worried about the town. Alright. That probably means then... Um... <clears throat> That once we travel on, no more solo doing. They at least us too. Until this problem is solved. Sounds reasonable. Are you guys heading back to Vera? I mean, I would go <clears throat> over to Talix and offer him my hand to help him back up. I just need to think for a second. Well, do we have anything waiting for us in Vera or Vera, whatever Matt forgets the name? Mm. Or we've we been calling on? it both. Um, so we're leaving right away. I brought Seems everything. To be the most prudent if we have nothing left to do. I had assumed we had only stuck around long enough for my meeting with the dragon. We seemed fairly keen on leaving before, especially Tekka, we have this day. I would prefer that we not separate the day after. All right. Especially given this new development, I wouldn't wish for Tekka to be on his own. I have nothing here. I think I left a lot of my stuff in the inn. <laughs> because I was in such a hurry. And perhaps we gather our things and leave immediately. We'll pass back by, by the farm then. Maybe whilst we are in town, we... I shudder at the thought of doing this, but we... Maybe warn the gnome guard. Maybe warn... Uh, the bossy one. The one that was in charge, maybe let her know there is a looming threat to the town. Yeah. I can... Someone saw what he looks like in both of his forms. Maybe Telex could do a form of uh, identification drawings. You don't know, just something, some sort of precaution. And Someone should warn those two children and the mother. Oh, in the fortunate event that he goes after the town before us, hopefully the gnomes can clean up the mess, and today is the last day that we see of him. <clears throat> Farms are often outside the circle of protection. Right, so perhaps Even we'll let them know. Yes. Mm -hmm. They can have a larger patrol. They seem to eager to do anything to exert authority of some sort. This may placate the gnomes and I don't know, say they're boredom or they're not threatening the townsfolk any longer. 
All right. <clears throat> I think I should follow you, Pep, to the farm and let them know. Talix, do, do you have all your stuff on you right now? Well, I've okay, pretty much everything in the spot pack, yeah. Can you potentially give me a piece of paper and something to write with? Um, uh, sure, no problem. Can, I feel can, like... Can, I feel can we... I... <laughs> you go ahead. Can, can we all go together? I suppose we could. Um, let's just try not to take too long. Here, uh... While I'm getting things out, <clears throat> uh, Talix is going to procure a small, a small vial, a small stopped vial, <clears throat> uh, and had it to Pip. Um, uh, give this to them. It's a good way to to mask your scent in a pit, in a pinch. Uh, okay. Pip takes it, and you can see he's just shivering right now as he, he takes it and puts it in his pouch. DM question. Mm -hmm. uh, are there seasons in Ladaria? And if so, what season is it? There are sp seasons, and it is currently the beginning of spring. Okay, so it's freaking cold right now <laughs> it's pretty cold yeah probably like it's starting to it's warm up but it's end uh... of winter mm -hmm. yeah you guys have to dress up <clears throat> okay so uh we want to just do a quick rundown we're we're going as a group to the to the home of liana uh, Pip and Brooke are both going up there and talking to them, and then we're going back as a group to the end to collect our remaining stuff, and then leaving. <clears throat> are we staying the rest of the night? And we're or telling we right the away? gnome lady about... Oh yeah, that too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to do that? Pontifex? Zarkus. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can, I can talk to the gnome lady. I believe if All anyone right. needs to be the mediator for the gnomes, it would be the one with the best relationship with them. Oh. Obviously, myself. <laughs> <laughs> By the All way, right. Austin, I like that your buildings are in the air as well now. You knew? Oh yeah, because I'm streaming. Cool. <laughs> they are. Yep. Yeah, they're in the air for me. Ah, uh, at least some of them are. Wait, this is to be random. Anyway, Dennis is on so, the table. You don't so, need to be streaming. Uh, so, which of these things should we should we role play, if any? Um, none of them are, are necessary to role play. I don't think, unless there's anything particular. I can just go like I can just give you a summary of what happens. The plan it's is fine to. By me. Tell Liana mm -hmm. what happened, not tell the kids what happened, right? Or are we telling them? Uh, I think I we think... should tell the oldest one to... I think Pip as would, like a yeah. be cautious and don't let your brother be on his own, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and if and it then... helps, um, by the time you'd, you'd get to the farm, um, Fortis would still be the one who is outside. Although the lights the, inside the, the building are now on. So it seems like he woke up the family and they lit some candles and they're awake, but Fortis is still the one who's like... On uh, sitting on the fence, there's the one of the crossbows ready next to him. Uh, so you'd be the one who sees you approaching, and uh, the first person you you could talk to if you wanted to. Um, what was people going yeah. to do with the with the paper? Me with the paper? Yeah, Brooke. Did somebody? Oh, it was Brooke. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to write a letter. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's not for this family. Nope. All right. Uh, will people let Fortis and Liana know? Uh, Pip would handle to... talking to, to Fortis. He might let 
Brooke handled the, the talk with Liana. Okay. And you let them know about the, the situation in its entirety. Pip is telling Fortis everything. Okay, so what the wolf actually was and what yeah. the possible current danger is. I think Brooke would only mention <clears throat> Lycanthropes instead of saying that it is a Lidarian person. Mm. Oh, I found my Pip. inspiration. <laughs> Pip also <laughs> hands them the uh, the vial that Talix gave them, and he hands it to Fortis and, and tells them that it could help mask their scent if they if they happen to hear wolf prowling around nearby. To use it and hide somewhere hidden in their house, if need be. Okay. Uh, I need to know from Jason what the vial actually is. It's just perfume. I love that Alex said that. <laughs> Alex has everything. Yeah. It's canonically a bag of many <clears throat> things. <laughs> the, the things that, that Pip is saying to him, he realizes is kind of scary and terrifying. And so uh, Pip tries to, like, you know, minimize the, the, the horror a little bit just by <laughs> saying that he thinks that they're after them and not not either of them, but just to be sure to let them know. Mm hmm. Okay. I got everything. Um, to Brooke, Liana will actually um, mention, perhaps. Okay, well, she will straight up ask, do you think we should return to Plurna? Um. Is it... Is it... Uh, uh, I don't want to... Expose my kids to, to any more danger. I mean, there are lycanthropes in Plurna as well. So I don't think they would be any safer there than they are here. But uh, not in my hometown. Not, not that I know of, at least. I mean, you didn't know about these lycanthropes either, right? The right. only thing I can offer is that I'll talk to... Uh, that I'll let the other phantoms know to potentially send some people around here in case any more danger comes up. And they would deal with that then in case you guys get attacked. Okay. Yeah, that... Hopefully that will be enough. I mean, I can't make the decision for you, right? If you want to go back to Plurna, then because you don't feel safe anymore here, then that is your right. But I don't think it's that much safer in Plurna anyways. So, yeah. I will, I will think about it. And... On top of that, honestly, I think that the wolf is mainly after us. So, us leaving should make this place safer, so anyways. Will we be headed east? Away from it? Uh, actually, no, we're heading west. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> didn't think about that until now. Well, <laughs> that might make things easier. <laughs> <laughs> so no, we're not going east, we're going west. Well, be safe, okay? Watch your back. Of course, we're five people. Someone is always awake. Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Pip, uh, Fortis just seems just whether whether he's trying to act tough uh, and reassuring or not, it's uh, you it wouldn't be too sure. But he seems just ready 
to protect the farm. Um, barely showing. Just a little bit of fear, but mainly just uh, the sense of resolution. Yeah, resolve is the word. And uh, the two you, of them will... You, oh, yeah, yeah. You well-armed, Fortis. He pats the crossbow with one hand. You know that won't do much against this thing, right? Well, if it comes down to it, I'll just take another rifle. <laughs> and if that's not enough, I'll get the second one. I don't know who'll kill you first, the wolf or the gnomes. Pip says with a slight smile. Neither of them, Pip. The smile. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of them. Take care of yourself. And alien. You take care of... You take... Blah, blah, blah. I can do this. <laughs> you take... No, God damn it! I can't <laughs> speak anymore. You take care, Pip, too. Yay! Are you okay? <laughs> mm. I blame Nerves? The cold. <laughs> it is really cold. <laughs> Fortis doesn't stutter, stutter as he sends you off. Okay. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> oh, I, uh, yeah, Pip says his goodbye. Doesn't want to wake Alien up or anything, of course, so. Just says, uh, tell, tell Alien I said bye. I will. Heads off. He waves. Uh, Leanna lets Brooke go as well. Um, Y'all have time to stop by the inn, <clears throat> pick up all the things you have left behind, leave the room key uh, with one of the halflings. Uh, I would... If I... Did I get the paper and something to write mm -hmm. from Alex? Well, I would write the letter and then go to the innkeep, unwrap my bandages, and show the tattoos to them. Okay, uh, at this hour, it would be the, the husband <clears throat> uh, that you'd find awake. Um... Ready to, when he when he sees the tattoo, he he nods knowingly, but um, he looks like he looks like he's trying, um, like he doesn't do this very often. He just uh, uh, grabs. Uh, you're handing him the letter, yeah. 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 Uh, he grabs it and he seems like to not really be sure where to put it at first, but then he just uh finds spot uh, be uh, somewhere behind the counter. Uh, who is it addressed to? It's addressed to Brunolf. Brunolf Lightning Blade. Okay. And the, the halfling nods and says, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure it is... This reaches him. All right. Thanks. Thanks for your hospitality. Good bets. <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> and he <Thank> nods. <laughs> and then turns right. around to the group. I never actually slept on them, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, we slept for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and lastly, is the entire group going, or um, who's uh, uh, going to talk to the, to the gnomes? Did anyone else want to volunteer? 
Uh, I will be ready this time. <laughs> Did anyone else want to volunteer? I, I, I also mean, do it if you, if you don't want to. Tech, I mean, I can I, join as well. I think we're all... I'm not sure if we're all going, right? I think we'll all be there. There won't but... be there, but it's probably best that someone or maybe some two would don't participate in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You're the one who got shot or the one that fucking punched them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> all right, how about this? Tech and Pontifex stay back. Right, I'll go with you. I'll go with you, Alex. Uh, Pip, you can decide whether you want to come with us or protect these two. I'll come with you. <laughs> we right. might need Pip to hold us back. <laughs> <laughs> I smell no <gnome> blood. <laughs> okay, as uh, the group begins to approach, and eventually it's just the three of you uh, heading up towards the, the spot where the, the construction of the uh, train station is taking place. Uh, the closest, the first gnome um, that you see uh, is even shorter than the others. It looks uh, clearly young. Um, and the, the rifle just reaches far beyond his own height. Um, and you see him start to like fidget a little as you come closer and looking left and looking right and realizing he's the only one there um, as as you guys are approaching. And he like takes a little bit of, uh, of a step back and he says, Ah, we have been ordered not to come anywhere close to you guys. I don't know what to do if you're approaching me. How about we just talk from here then? Yeah, yeah, from from all the way over there. That That's fine. Okay. Um... Wait, what exactly are we telling them? Well, we don't want them to send a hunting party out. We just want them to keep the town safe. Could could we just talk to Zarkus? Could hmm. we just talk to Zarkus? <laughs> <laughs> um, I. Oh, I. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I have window mode, I can't see what it says. <laughs> I'm okay. not sure if I, I can wake her up at this hour. Can I just take a message? Uh, perhaps we should write it down. All right. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you're better at words than me, Talix. Oh, uh, if you want to write it All down. Right, just tell me the gist of what you want us to say. Uh, well, there are, there is a chance that there are more wolves and they should be prepared to defend the colony or the farmers in case they need help. Okay. That's it? That's the extent of it? I, unless we want to tell them more, I don't feel the need to share any more details. We could, we could probably just tell him that. Whatever, I'll write it down. And you're saying wolves? Uh, that's a good point. Um, you might uh, need yeah, to fold that into an right. airplane. Yeah. Fly it over to him. He seems a little uh, <laughs> bigger <laughs> happy. It's a little. Uh, it's a little heavy for me to do my. Uh... Well, uh, maybe I can just throw it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'll just, I'll say wolves keep it general. I mean, there is a chance that if we say lycanthropes, they might send a hunting party. And since exactly. you that's what I was afraid of. Yep. Okay. Uh, can I hand this paper to you, or do you want me to toss it? Um... But uh, just, yeah, just throw it. <sighs> All right, tell us to make a paper airplane. <laughs> Very professional uh, 
heraldry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alex, I lectured you on this. You are clearly ignoring the third law of aerodynamics that is never going to make the flight. It is going to loop the loop. We've talked about this at length. <laughs> the third law of aerodynamics. Roll a slight of hand check. <clears throat> oh boy, I don't think we've done one of those this campaign. Wow, yeah. Not too good at those. Eh? 13? Okay. Uh, the, the airplane lands right at the gnome's feet and he scrambles to, 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 to pick it up and does like a bit of a, of a salute. <laughs> Alex will just kind of like pause and then awkwardly nod and then just turn around. Okay, that's good enough. All right, let's get everyone together and. Oh, let's head to my hometown here. That'll be better. Better days. <clears throat> Aria's a nice place. Hello, coming, Ozzy. Okay. Uh, it's a nice place in some ways. Okay. <laughs> it's better than other places. They'll tolerate you. That's fine. All right. All right. You guys woke up. Oh, hey, thank you, Dennis. <laughs> 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 uh, you guys woke up a few hours before sunrise, getting just the bare minimum amount of sleep for, for it to be uh, healthy enough and fill you with enough energy to set you off on your journey. Uh, you cross the bridge that leads out of the colony uh, one more time looking back at this at this uh, um, hour of the day the while you were going to the train station and back you didn't see uh, the you didn't see the dragon uh, in the wooden nest but by the time uh, uh, you're you're crossing a bridge and you look back one more time uh, you do see Razigmir's head uh, somewhere just um, Behind uh, the enormous fence, uh, uh, his brass scales catching uh, uh, the light of uh, of the rising sun is sort of like reflecting it back, and he uh, almost he almost glistens. Uh, uh, and for a moment, you kind of catch the 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 uh, you get a feel for uh, what this enormous dragon might have looked like in his youth. Uh, but it's it's just for a moment, and then you see the rest of him and the rest of his black and the discolored scales. And um, it almost makes you wonder if he'll even still be alive uh, whenever you next will happen to travel through Vera. So, hmm. you have um, a little decision to make. This is the map. And you're headed uh, down here. I remember last time you left uh, Cleon, you kind of took a bit of a shortcut. Uh, you didn't take the road and you instead uh, uh, went like this in order to save one day of travel. Um, Is the something... shortcut this time through the woods? Not only would it, would, it be, would it be through the woods, but it would be exactly through the general area where you found the, uh, the hawk bear and the werewolf. No thanks. Let's not okay. this time. <laughs> I mean, we know he's left the area, right? He, he left the area to some other area, probably in that same general area. Pretty road, much. please. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in favor of road, say aye. 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 Okay. For the, the group. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Very well. So, uh, today, on the uh, third of the month of the Opossum, uh, you set off in the direction of uh, Aria. And although the beginning of your journey westward is uneventful, the first day of travel just feels unusually long and exhausting. Um, 
You end up following the road through the forest at a slightly slower pace than you really intended, and you find yourselves jumping at every little noise and every sudden movement. The wind, at times, sounded like a faraway howl. Pip, even the critters you came across seemed uh, restless, and both you and Tekka can tell that Ollie is stressed out. Oh. Is there anything um, that you guys want to do tonight at your campsite? Sleep? Yeah, Talix doesn't want to tell us anything. Just eat rations, go to sleep as soon as you can. Okay. He did say that it wouldn't be today and it wouldn't be soon. So I think we can all sleep with no watch. <laughs> <laughs> Tekka takes first watch. Okay. <laughs> um, Pip will stay up. Uh, and is, is Ollie going to be roaming around? Yes. Pip will just, you know, uh, be particularly watching Ollie and make sure that, that Ollie is okay. Ollie is anxiously burrowing a hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do when I'm anxious. <laughs> Pip will guard Ollie with his life. <laughs> <laughs> if any animal comes near Ollie, Pip will yeet it with his mind. <laughs> is Ollie burying the hole because he's anxious, or is he anxious because he's burying the hole? <laughs> <laughs> this is the pangolin paradox. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so take like, and Pip take before the, the scene is even established. Pip is already in the tree. <laughs> yeah. um, I need to know uh, the entire order, uh, watch <clears throat> order. So Tech and people will take the first one simultaneously. Uh, Pontifex is left. I figure he's an Pontifex early waker, so he'll just wake up. He's always extra last. Early. It's up to it's up to whoever's gonna wake me up. All right, I'll wake you up. I'm second. Brooke right. and Talix. I'll, I'll be taking a perception check from everybody, which will be basically sort of like represents the, the average of how well you do across the week. Uh, you will be walking to the road between Vera and Aria is about 170 miles long and uh, traveling at a normal pace by foot. It should take you about seven days. It is almost exactly the same distance uh, between uh, uh, Cleon and Vera. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Uh, I'll also take... This is perception, right? Yeah. And I'll also take one from Squeak. Okay. Perception. I mean, yeah, Tekka and Pip are very focused on Ollie <laughs> burning the hole. <laughs> kind of just not. There's Squeaks. <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> Let's go! And you know what's sad? Add uh, to the counter, Dennis. I have started so well. I had like three ahead of the of the net ones, and now I have overtaken them. <laughs> Again, <laughs> it's doomed. It feels even worse because I've been baited into having good rolls. <laughs> <laughs> the so we have. One Three blind 12. people on one shift. Yeah. <laughs> the worst part it's fine. is that no one ever attacks you on the first watch. That'd be crazy. With the... three people watching, no chance. We're fine. The worst part is that at some point you will have to leave uh, the camp and leave uh, Ollie's hole behind, and you'll have to start a new. True. The next time you set up camp. Yeah. Where's That's what makes him anxious, that? always having to start a new hole. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 uh. Alright! We're good to go! <laughs> <laughs> it won't be today. <laughs> well, maybe it will be today. <laughs> it was a ruse. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Been bamboozled. 
Okay. The night passes uh, um, without uh, anything disturbing you. Uh, you don't hear any any howling uh, at any point throughout the night. Uh, um, some faraway noises every once in a while. Some uh, some leaves, some branches being disturbed by uh, critters, squirrels, birds, uh, but no mechanical birds, no wolves of any kind. Uh, um, your sleep is a little restless, but undisturbed and uninterrupted. Your uh, second day of travel, the fourth of Amwa. Uh, since you are sticking to the road, every once in a while, you come across travelers on the road, uh, headed in the direction you just came from. And sometimes some of them, um, they will try to stop to chat briefly with you. Um, would you talk to them? Depends on what they're saying. Are they gnomes? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but they are all Plurnans. Hmm. Uh, are you in such a rush that you'd uh, rather not spend like five minutes having no, with someone? I mean, Telex wouldn't like blow people off, but he also. Nice, friendly wave. <laughs> you don't yeah, warn them. So nice weather. Nice weather we're having. You don't warn Morning. them about uh, the dangers lurking in the Saffron Forest? If they're traveling the roads in Ladaria, I feel like they've just accepted the danger as part of everyday life. Be mindful Literally, the, the weeds are trying to kill you. Be mindful of the hawk bears. <laughs> okay, well, since you do the minimum amount of small talk. Uh, in return, you will learn an interesting piece of information. So, <laughs> even though you nearly passed <laughs> off on it, you may draw a rumor card. Yeah. Oh. I, I knew that's what it was going to be. <laughs> uh, uh, is this just for all of us? It will be just a single card for the entire group. Uh, so, elect somebody. Utalix. <gasps> Okay, I love you cards. You did the talking. <laughs> have you heard? Uh, Some clerics have been losing their powers lately. Oh, hey! I have hey. heard that. <laughs> Did one of our gods have died like Vakanov did? Man, news travels really slowly here. <laughs> <laughs> but, well... So is this just referring to, to him, or is it referring to... I mean, some My, clerics. It says some clerics, multiple. See, this is actually the rumor you told them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where is... Where is our uh, community chest? I don't think we have a community chest. We can absolutely have a community chest. Components? Is that a miscellane? No. Tools? You will have a community bag. Then I'll put and this one And it will be protected well. by Sir Punched a lot. It's a, the much less fancy version of a community chest. <laughs> <laughs> you get a community sack of leather bound with string. I will turn it into a chest. Community sack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the person you come across who shares his rumor with you is a uh, half orc uh, woman uh, who comes from Erka and uh, uh, this particular bit of information that she got um, is from there it is a priest in Erka um, who has lost her powers any chance she has heard of uh, what their deity was? Uh, she has not. She doesn't really know the details. She just passed through the colony. We'll have 
have to remember to look into that. Yeah, that's definitely something we want to look into while we go there. I'll put it on the map next time we bring it up. All right. Um. Oop. Here you go. Oh, good. Oh, hey, it's the map. <laughs> <laughs> Erka's over here. Oh, man, we're still in Vera. Pro promote me? <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you for promoting me. You've been promoted. I'm not promoted, therefore there's like two things that I can grab, and I found that one of them is Boovin. There's Boovin on a map? I can move Boovin and I can move Alfred. Oh, because they're not And those are the only two things. There we go. Hmm. Some oh. clicks, uh, such as one click in Erica, we were off. Nifty. Okay. Thank you. The second night of your journey. Uh, you're also able to sleep the entire time without being disturbed. Wait, were those rolls for our entire walk? Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's for yes. the whole journey. So I don't it's make doing... you roll, like, a ton of yeah. times. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. Yeah, we didn't right. roll good. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I'll just... Keep on tricking. Not a I care mean, what, in the world. What's, what could really happen when we're on the road, you know? The Just camping by the road. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Uh, the third day of your journey on the 5th of Amua. Uh, there is no sunlight to wake you up today as uh, the sky is covered in clouds. Uh, not quite stormy weather yet, but... Um, it's, it's, uh, it's iffy. A mere hour after resuming your journey, the road splits. You know well that all you have to do to continue towards Aria is to head south, while the northern road will take you to Simlialon. Um, and as you approach this fork in the road, you hesitate as you notice a figure laying right in the middle of the road, uh, arms wrapped around their legs, uh, shivering in a muddy, oversized cloak. What would you like to do? Uh, they're just sitting at... Yeah. I, I didn't catch what Sid said. Tekka will walk to it. Okay. Um... The closer you get, it becomes apparent uh, um, that just lying there is uh, um, an old woman. Uh, her thin, weak arms are holding the, the cloak closed and uh, um, she has a hood lowered over her face. Um, she just seems very cold, very thin. Um, not much of her figure is actually visible because it, the cloak is kind of oversized. Uh, so it's, uh, she's using it kind of like a blanket. It's wrapped all around her. Are you awake? Um, she sort of like startle her awake. She, she pulls herself, um, uh, up, just sitting up a little bit, uh, um, and just judging from her shaking hands and uh, uh, her bent back, she must be uh, particularly old. Um, you hear you hear her start to speak, and then she uh, she gasps, she just inhales sharply in surprise and and fear. Oh no! Am I breaking up? Uh, 
Uh, no. Oh. Not to me. Sid. Is it Europe oh, yeah, again? Is... It, I mean, it's... I'm fine. I'm Europe. <laughs> yeah, I hear the very, very big lag spike for a second. Does that mean this is a good time to yeah. take a toilet break? Oh, Please. never mind. Yeah, uh, I can hear everything now. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I don't know if you caught that, but like she, the, the moment she just um, sort of like turned it towards you, she she gasped in surprise, and uh, um, after a few seconds, uh, she extends an arm and sort of like grabs you weakly with just very shaky fingers by by the shirt, and and sort of like just clutches it and says. You, you, you remind me of, of something. Excuse me, miss, what, uh, Taka, are you okay? What's the, you know her? I do not, but we should build a fire. Do any of you have a spare cover? Uh, I think I do. Yeah, I can spare blankets and uh, help help work on the fire. Um, her her free hand is still like sort of like clutching her hood, um, with her cloak just very uh, tightly around her own uh, neck and uh, um. After a moment, she she lets go of Tekka and seems uh, she seems out of it for a moment, but then she she slowly turns her head, realizing there's like a whole group here, and uh, uh, she watches as Talix gets to work to uh, to build a fire and uh, uh, throwing a blanket on her. Probably have a blanket, yeah. I imagine. Yeah, I've got one. Yeah. <laughs> no, in Talix. Um, and then she. Uh, uh, her voice seems to perk up just a little bit, and she says, Oh, oh, you are so kind. You're so kind to me. Not, not many people stop for me anymore. You don't happen to have any food to spare? Of course, I do. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, uh, Tech will probably just take out some bread, dried meat. Uh, yeah, the only got with local vegetables, so none of that is really <laughs> local meat. Probably maybe like a carrot, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even if you were to just hand her a raw carrot, uh, she would pretty much just snatch it out of your hands. She doesn't actually have the strength. Uh, to do so, but she she she's she reaches for it. It's it's clear that she, not only is she is she cold and her clothes are wet, but she she is definitely very very hungry. Eat slowly. You will not be well. Your body will not fare well. Eating all at once. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And she'll be eating any food you hand her. Uh, and she'll s sit near the fire, almost like a little too close. Um, and... Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'm removing two ra days ration. And giving it to her. Do you recall how you ended on this road? Collapsed. Oh, I... I have been on the road for many weeks now. The... the days, they all just... Meld together in my head. It has been a long time. A journey with no end. Did 
do you remember where you were going? Oh, I know. I know where I have to go, but I... I cannot go alone. And nobody will help me. Nobody will come with me. Well, where is it? Maybe we're going the same way. There is a... And she, she seems to like hesitate and think about it. There is a river uh, west of here. Not too far. A day or, or two away. And I need to follow it. Upstream. And then... A cave. Yes, yes, a cave. Where the water flows. Does does she seem trustworthy to to me, or does she? Do I, I smell like, a trick on this? <laughs> I would like to roll for that as well. You can yeah. roll inside check. Uh, any of you? Are my old man senses tingling what, on this old what's woman? What's wrong, Pip? You don't trust little old ladies? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Matt. What does that mean? <laughs> I feel like an old person has a special a special sense whenever another old person is being shysty. <laughs> well, roll your inside check. <laughs> Great rolls, guys. <laughs> Pip Great rolls loves all himself there. some. Pip loves creepy you old. Don't lemon. know something about the cut of her jib. To all of you. Mm -hmm. Uh, this old woman seems to be in genuine distress. Uh, you haven't picked up on any hint of uh, deception or malice. Uh, her what, hunger what seems trying? genuine, and her, the fact that she's cold and alone all seems genuine. Why are you trying to find a cave? I... Shouldn't you be... It's a little... Uh, adventurous, don't you think? She, um, now that she's done eating, she she grabs the edges of, of her hood with both hands and just pulls it a little bit further onto her face and says, I, something happened to me, something very bad, and I, I think, no, no, uh, I know whatever happened to me, the answers, that's where I'll find them. Something happened in that cave. Do you remember this thing? Not clearly, not much of it. I just remember... Uh, pain? Sadness? Oh, and... And then, I, I know for a fact, well, when I see myself, when I see my reflection, this is not what I should look like. And that happened in that cave? I, th I think so. The cave, that's the only thing I really remember. Um... I mean, if you guys want to lead her to that cave, if we have enough rations, we can do that. But I'm... I don't know. The cave doesn't seem safe. I would rather not go inside the cave. Would that be an okay deal? Are you asking her? Or the rest she of seems her? to be describing some sort of curse. I'd be lying if I said my curiosity was not piqued. And if we are helping a uh, distraught person in the process, seems relatively productive. Well, do any of you have some magic to help her? In case the cave doesn't... No, but if we knew the nature of it, there are surely people in Aria who could. If you give me a little bit of time, I might be able to diagnose something. Hmm. Yeah. 
Perhaps, perhaps you can do that on the way, Professor. Hey, sure, I can always work and walk. Um, Pip walks uh, a little bit behind her, um, just sort of uh, as as subtly as he can. Uh, are there any loose hairs, maybe, on her cloak behind her? Not with the way she's wearing it, because of, um, like, her, her head is covered, like, her entire figure is fully covered. Uh, if anything, perhaps some strands of hair would be on the front. Okay. Never mind, then. Pip just continues walking along and, and then returns to the rest of them and just says, We should help her. If we can. All right. It sounds like I won't be too far out of the way. And... I just couldn't leave her in good conscience like this. She needs help. Okay. Thank you. You would... really... help me out? Oh... I just travel with us. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Everyone who sees me, uh, everyone who glances my way, they, they all, they all walk away. They all turn back and leave. Well, glad you met us, huh? <laughs> you are such kind souls. And, uh, Pontifex would notice uh, that uh, she, uh, just the way her head turns towards Tekka for just a moment and then turns back away. Uh, here's the map again. So... <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on, am I recollecting something from my knowledge of maps? <laughs> something I'm about, about her the way face. She looked at Tekka. The alignment of her the freckles oh. and the moles upon the side of her cheek is reminiscent <laughs> of the peninsula. <laughs> I, I had finished one thing and moved on to the next. <laughs> it didn't did sound like a complete oh, sentence. <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't finish the sentence. I'm sorry. <laughs> the way, okay, so Pontifex something, realized yeah, the there way is, she looked at Tekka. There is something about the way she looked at Tekka. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, there is a certain something, a mystique, you might <laughs> say. Something in the way she moves. <laughs> I am in the process of uh, trying to do a freckle reading, but uh, I'm a little busy. <laughs> this looks like a thumb. It's all muddled. It looks like what? A thumb. Oh my god, it kind of does. <laughs> oh no. And actually, now I'm seeing this whole thing, and it's it just looks like a, like a person, like, angry. Like, <laughs> yeah, this, it's more like, like Hulk raging. I see thumb. a pair of boots. Do wield it. Oh yeah, these <laughs> little cartoon legs. Yeah. You're anyway. A lot. Hold on. I see, I see a thing. thumb, I see the angry person. Oh, then it's like I a funny face, legs. this whole thing. It's like a skull. Yeah, a little bit. With like what? mandibles. Oh, I see it. What? Yep. Yeah, it's yeah. like an elite what? skull. Like, these are the eyes, this is the skull, these are like the little like front teeth, like the upper jaw, and then these <laughs> are like mandibles, or like a broken lower jaw, something really scary. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everybody. <laughs> All right. We're serious D&D players here. Okay, um, so we're going uh, off the road here. Is that is that what's happening? Yeah. Yep. Um, <clears throat> what's the terrain like? This uh, would be roughly the time when the forest thames, and further to the west of the road is where it's just <clears throat> grassy hills. So you have a lot of, like, um, you can see very far. There isn't a lot of cover, and you're heading a little bit uphill. But it's not too hard to walk or anything? No, it isn't. All right. Um, along the way, for about ten minutes, he's uh, he's ritual casting detect magic to try to magically frisk this person for anything out of place. Okay. Um. 
I'm gonna say you'll have to do it while you guys are seated down around the campfire. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, but by, by the time you are done, um, hmm. Maybe, like, while he's magically wanding, you know, seeing if anything beeps. He's like, hey, you said that there is something afflicting you. Uh, when did this happen? Or when did these thoughts start? Does detect... So, yeah, I was reading my detect magic as well, and I I couldn't remember if it actually detected curses. Yeah, I'm, I'm more double-checking that this isn't a curse and that there's not some kind of uh like enchantment or transmutation magic on her or, or mm. like she has some item that she picked up somewhere and shouldn't have that kind of thing yeah. okay yeah i just went ahead and checked everything and uh, uh pontifex is unable to detect any kind of magic uh either magic things on her or anything magical about uh, uh herself okay I do think he's still kind of like giving her a short questionnaire, like, you know, when did these thoughts start? Was there anyone else at the scene of the incident? <laughs> did you pick up anything along the way? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. And, and she just seems very, um, you're feeling a lot like you're interrogating Jamuel all over again. Uh, like her, mm. uh, everything about her recollections is very foggy and she doesn't seem to remember anything beyond perhaps some... Yes, she, made, she keeps saying a few weeks, a few weeks, so maybe a month or a month and a half. Um, but like all of her memories, like they lead up to uh, this, this cave. And she doesn't remember anything before then. Um, except, and well, she, 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 she said that she's pretty, she knows she's not supposed to look the way she does right now. She doesn't remember her name. Which What's is, her name? Sorry, I, just, I said that and then I had to look, search through my notes. <laughs> her name. She remembers is her name. God doesn't. Raquela. Raquela. Hmm. Sounds like a recall. There's a memory pun here. The plot or recola. Thickens. Sounds like. <laughs> recola. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> while we're. Uh, mm. While we're traveling on the road, um, Pip just. Uh, looks over to Taka and walks over to him and and says from underneath his shawl, uh, Taka? Yes, Pip. I know you said that in every place we go, we can't help everyone we come across that needs help. So, how do you decide who to help and who to leave? This time was not my decision. There is not always an answer to your question. Sometimes, some days, there is a feeling, a presence that cannot be shaken. And you get a feeling off of her? Not this time. Other times, yes. Have you never felt this way, Pip? Never felt an urge to act without reason well I, yeah I, I guess so but sometimes you have to act because of a reason right you are not wrong doesn't Life. everything have a reason I think many seek a reason out. Whether that is worthwhile is not for me to decide. Okay. 
Okay. We'll, we'll get to some, some Leilan sometime. I know it. And remember our shared mission. If you find ingredients to create your grandmother's recipes, then collect them as we walk. I'll keep an eye out for it. Tekka gives the nod and uh, continues supporting Akela's walk. All right. Um, you, um, she takes you westward up the hills away from the road and uh, further north than your original destination. Uh, you march uphill at the pace of the old woman as she drags herself forward slowly with the help of a bit of a, a makeshift walking stick that she just picks up at some point on the way. Uh, I need a survival check from everyone. Everyone? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if we survive. <laughs> just some hills. Nothing bad can happen in hills. Contra, where's oh, it was so time? close to a 20. <laughs> oh, hey. oh hey. Nat 20 master, 5,000. <laughs> oh my Tech god. trash and burn. <laughs> you at nine now? No, eight. Yeah. Eight. Oh. oh, okay. That mine was, was mine went twenty, 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 twenty four. <laughs> uh, okay, that will be that will be t uh, Tekka and the Talix, the two T's. Um, realizing that if you guys are heading for the nearest river, um, which would be this one, you are very uh, you are too far north from it. Uh, but she's taking you pretty much straight west, so you're like heading this way. Um, excuse me, miss. Pardon me, but you might not have the course quite correct here. From my memory, the river's a little bit further south. She stops, looks around. You just see her head turning left and right. <clears throat> she adjusts her hood, pulls it down a little bit further onto her face, and says, No, 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 I, I'm quite sure we're headed the right way. Wait, which river are we heading to? Uh, you said one day's travel. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Here it is. My notes are a mess! Damn, um, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very prepared for today's session. Um, oh. She just points further west and say, Gererake. And that is indeed the name of this particular river. Yeah, of. Uh, Look, I've walked this road a few times. Of It's certainly further south. The river doesn't start for another... I don't know how big, how far we are. I don't. What is one unit here? Like 40 kilometers? Uh, every hex is 20 miles. Oh, we're using miles. Is... Same reaction. Oh, I'm sorry, I can just <laughs> cross out this corner of the map. We can just do <laughs> kilometers. <laughs> Talix. Can just... Have you hmm. ever walked to this river's origin? It's... Oh, like... no, not, not so the origin, but I know roundabouts where it is. Uh, we have a map, don't we? Here. Professor, can I use your map? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. I've been waiting for a great opportunity for this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he'll pull out the uh, the map scroll with the very expensive detailed map. <laughs> okay, now I've been, I've been keeping track of where we are going. So this is where we started, off the road. 
right at the crossroads. We should be this far north. We've been heading straight due west. We should have turned south from the outset. We're going to miss the river. <laughs> Thank you. A map is drawn by people. They can be mistaken. Uh, with how expensive this one was, I would not be surprised if it was constructed by the gods themselves. <laughs> uh, you know what? Look at Jamil's take on this. I suppose if the map is accurate, then uh, if we simply go south, we will inevitably hit the river. Or the road. If we hit the road, we have gone not far enough. Tekka takes out journal Fleetfoot and asks. Wait, uh, the, the old woman can't hear us right now, right? I, mean, I, I say guess. specifically to our party. Oh. Let's get Jem. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, Tekka asks. Jamuel, do you trust the accuracy of maps? <laughs> Thank you, you are very helpful and insightful. <laughs> Talix, what is your question? Do you happen to remember anything about this place or the River Gererike? <laughs> All right. We're looking for the source of the river. Do we need to go south or straight west? I am very familiar with the smell of water. I was not aware of a distinction between running water. Suppose it does not sell stagnant and musty, that is fair. Oh. Jamil's in on it. Jamil, I have to respect your expertise in the matter. Trade West it is. Okay. Uh, I believe Dennis has been waiting for a break for a long time and he's already gone. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> Poor man. Are we going to take a 10 minute break? All right. Yes. Okay. You said 10 minutes? 10 minutes. At least. At, at least. <laughs> it, it, like, it's, we it's need about... to know that this is the thumb and this is Guerre 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 K. Yeah, Guerrero. Guerrero. Yeah. Rio Guerrero. Guerrero K. Eddie Guerrero? River de Guerrero K. Guerrero K is next to just like yes. rolling on it, that's, that's what we're referring to is the specific Gar river. It's a river. <laughs> it's a river. Right. Crap, now I forgot how it's actually pronounced. That's how you say it in Ladaria. Guerrero K. Guerrero K, was that all it was? Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're okay. We were just decided to go the way the uh, the woman was wanting to go. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So further west, and mm -hmm. uh, um, as you continue uphill for a little bit longer, eventually, um, I need everyone to roll. Huh. What kind of savings throw, huh? <laughs> Death. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I, Sanity. 
I would like a an insight check from everybody. Uh oh. I knew no. it. She was so shy. I don't like these these f forced insight checks. <laughs> My old man senses are never wrong. <laughs> oh, Ed, close call. They're never wrong. Very close. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me, Windsor! <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> okay. To to Pip, Talix, and, and uh, Brooke, um, it becomes... Uh, uh, you, you pick up on the fact that despite... All right, you can't see this woman's face, um, but... You, you're still able to read her body language. Uh, you're still able to see her hands uh, with it. She has this... Um, it's like... Her skin is... Uh, um, it's this grayish, sickly gray color. And every once in a while, when her, when her sleeve slips uh, a little bit further up her arm before she pulls it back down, you can see um, here and there are these wet patches of scales, uh, somewhat like those of a fish. And uh, uh, you can see poking through her, through her cloak where her elbows are, um, a bit of a, of a pointy shape which would... Uh, it would seem that she has Vox, so she should be a Lidarian. Um, and you can see from body language that the further you guys go, the more ever so slightly uh, she picks up the pace, but she also just seems to be getting anxious and, and uh, nerv nervous, just worried. Um, and within about a couple of hours since you guys start to check the map, uh, sure enough, the river reaches all the way to your current location. My cats are fighting. <laughs> what was her name again? Her name Rakella? was Rakella. Yes. Rakella. Uh, Rakella is... Everything okay? We are close. We're very close. Um, it feels... It feels... Hostile. It feels... Evil. Can you sense it? Can, we Can sense I it? sense it? Um. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to ask in a Tarian. Is this river, uh, is your home along the river? Um, the way she turns her head, uh, um, and like thinks for a moment, uh, um, she seems to. She just seems to genuinely like put some uh, some thought into her answer before saying in uh, Itarian, um, and this is completely uh, fluent. Um, she says, "I, I don't think so. Uh, not here. Not not where the river is. Um, no, no. I didn't used to have a home. I, I traveled." Um, and towards you guys' nice. previous question, Pontifex feels it. Something in the area, uh, something uh, in all around you, in the ground, in the air. Uh, there's this kind of heaviness to it uh, that only somebody who is deeply attuned to magic uh, would be able to sense. Uh, I will use my subclass feature to um, instantly ritual cast the tech magic. Okay. 
And as your uh, as your gut feeling told you, um, the entire area has magic, but not cast upon it. It's more like it's part of the land itself. It's like every blade of grass, uh, um, even the water flowing through the river. The, it all carries some kind of uh, uh, some some kind of magic to it. And not a particular enchantment, and not a particular spell, but it's more like the entire place is just charged with it. So no, like, specific schools or anything like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I am surprised that you noticed it like this. Are you a practitioner of magical arts of some sort? Am I? I... Uh, I do not remember. Maybe. Well, uh... What she says is correct. This place is, uh, well, as God has told me, it is magically charged, you could say. What? Uh, everything here has some level of, uh, is this like arcane magic or like divine magic? Can I tell? As a user of both. This feels arcane magic to you. Weird. Uh, this is a uh, uh, place is suffused with the magical energy, but this is uh, this is not divine. The way that uh, Plurna is coursing with Vakanath, this is uh, arcane. But everything, the the ground, the water, and then oh. Pontifex. Uh, um, your detect magic in your uh, radius as far as it reaches. It uh, also goes over a little bit of the river and you feel something in there um, enter the radius of your spell and uh, this is, you can feel that it's a creature, you can feel that it's a, uh, uh, there's conjuration magic upon it and you can tell that it's like approaching the riverbed on the side you are on, definitely coming towards you uh, Can I get like a relative size of this thing? Is it like a small thing or like a Big thing. If I were to give we're it a word like between or small, like medium, or large, I'd pick large. Uh, oh shit, and that's like 30 uh, Yeah. I think, yeah, Pontifex just like stops mid sentence and, I don't know, gives some ominous Jurassic Park line like, wait, something is coming. And, <laughs> it's, you know, it shows like the little water droplet thing, the ripples, uh, and he turns that way. Okay. Everyone roll initiative. And, like, points. Wow! Ah! <laughs> oh, Everyone's surprised. No. Clever yeah. girl. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Rolling initiative is always my favorite thing. I've never had a minus three on initiatives before. <laughs> so fun. Mm. My pip is is <laughs> is packed away in a campsite somewhere. Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, oh no! Oh, God, damn. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, hey, the thumb is still there. Oh yeah, <laughs> the thumb is forever with. Me. The thumb is with us always. Okay. <clears throat> Can you remind me again what was the last thing that happened to her? Right before we rolled initiative? She just said there was something evil around, and then... Oh. She said there was something Pontifex. evil. Pontifex, like, was able to feel something, so then he detect magic, which then definitely alerted him to something big coming straight at us from the riverbed. And it's within 30 feet of us. Like, it's right next to Probably an alligator or something like that. Magic alligator. Eldarian alligator. Uh, smaller. I guess you can kind of tell me wherever Pontifex had to be to detect this. I assume he's the closest to the riverbed. Yeah, like this. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. I'm part frog. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Do I change the word again? Or, yeah, the value, right? Value, yeah. yeah. Yep. I have two squeaks on the initiative. Sorry, I I pulled my rat version of squeak out. Uh, I'll just use I'll just use devil one because I already set the initiative for it. Also, Pontifex says. Ah. Why am I white? Um. Blue. Oh, yeah, Jason. How does uh, how did the thing work? Uh, I just clicked the color, and now my character outline is blue. So maybe right, that's... right, right. Uh, we we had uh, we did an edit to it, so the outline wouldn't show. Do you remember, Jason, if we had to press a button or something, somewhere? No. Like that? Yeah. Got it. Ah. And I have ah okay. Well, you're white now. <laughs> Okay. Oh, my lust was Oh, wait, 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 crap. Uh, here, blue. Wait, can I do it? Yeah. Yeah, that's the outline that I did earlier. Yeah, but... Wait, where's the other button? It's there for me. Do you not have a button that says toggle under your colors? Uh, oh my gosh. Hold on. No. Oh, it's he, possible. he must be using an old one that wasn't updated. Yeah, because I brought in... Uh, here, let me fix that. You gotta... Yeah, flip it around and re uh, reinsert him. Yeah, because his mini had disappeared. Player controlled. Check me in. On the, uh, yeah. You're on the old version. We gotta update you. Oh, you got the Pontifex 2.0. Hey! Yeah. I want to get my initiative value. Cool. Blue and toggle. Oh, here we go. So now you should still show up as blue in the initiative if it's, uh... Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. It's cute. <laughs> okay. Uh Brooke, you're the first to act as uh, Pontifex tells uh warns you that there's something in the river and you look at the point where uh at, at the spot where he's pointing, 10, 20, 30, is this within range? 10, 20, yes. Um and you just all you see is just um the river is flowing in this direction, but you see that like, sort of a wave that goes against the current and you you would have never noticed that it's a very slight a very small thing to notice you would have never spotted it unless Pontifex had actually um been able to point it out to you okay uh well i will actually take out one of my daggers what is the range Went. Oh God! What happened? Hello? You took your, you uh, put yourself in your hand. Oh, oh God! It got, so big, it got so big in my hand that I got scared <laughs> and it was on, on, my, on my screen. All right, I'm uh, walking up. Ten. Twenty, and I'm gonna throw a dagger there. Okay. Well, there. Roll your attack roll. <clears throat> oh, I'm on the wrong side. That's why. Twenty-one hits. Cool, cool. Ooh. That's max damage. Is that, it is max damage. Oh, oh, oh. Plus seven. How, uh, how, how, what is your damage? That's what? Oh, it's piercing. What is your... I'm assuming he has the thrown weapon fighting style. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah, it adds, uh, it adds plus two to damage. It's crazy. Or adds, yeah, two. I'm pretty two sure damage. it's plus five from Dex and then plus yeah, two. Yeah, it's five from, from Dex and then plus two from something. Twenty you Dex. Add proficiency. It didn't add proficiency, yeah, but he does oh. have plus seven on his sheet. Yeah. To the uh, dagger. To damage. 
Dang, Brooke. You, what do you have a fighting style? <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh yeah, that's it. There Thank you. you. It's the threat one. <laughs> it is. Uh, oh. Oh no, it's actually only pl uh, plus five. Oh, because okay. dueling. That's yeah. why. I'm assuming it's then it's only plus five because I'm throwing it? Right. Dueling does not work with thrown weapons. I see. Hmm. All right, then it's it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, uh, it's a... Uh, uh, nine. Nine. But also 19 to hit. I'm assuming. No, the, the, the roll is correct because you do add proficiency, your proficiency to the attack roll. All right. Uh, so yeah, we have... Nine damage, and you just see the, your your dagger go sploosh into the water. And for a moment, it's sort of like you see it go upward as whatever you just hit uh, reacts, uh, um, sort of like uh, recoiling from the hit. Um, and then you just see your dagger sinking to the bottom of this river. Hmm. I'm not sure if I did any. That's the end of my turn. Okay, next is Tekka. Tekka runs forward uh, in front of Pontifex and looks out to the water, look for any signs of life or danger, and readies a dodge action. That's okay. His turn. Would uh, Squeak like to do anything? <clears throat> uh, Squeak says, Yeah. Hey, Raquella, this thing good or bad? Just talking rat on Pip's shoulder. <laughs> um, she... <laughs> she visibly just jumps at hearing this, this voice that she hasn't heard from any of you guys before and looks at Pip and just stares, mouth open, in shock. And after a few seconds, she shakes her head and says, Ah! Uh, Bad! Bad! Alright, I'll take your word for it. Uh, jumps in the air and turns into a bird. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and flies out. It's fine. Uh, directly over the thing and will be about 10 feet above it. Okay. Anything else on, Squeak, on Squeak's turn? Um, actually, Squeak won't be 10 feet above it. We'll just be like right above it. Okay. If that's all right. Yeah, sure thing. Uh, if you'd <laughs> like to mess with these, uh, I have these little tokens over here uh, that you can place down and resize, and it's sort of oh. like to show that something is uh, high up. I don't know if they work. I haven't tried them yet. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. They don't. Nope. <laughs> oh no. Well, oh, wait, this, wait, wait, is, wait. this is Squeak's life now. What? Oh yes! Ah! Uh, <laughs> hey! Yes, of course. That's what... Like, hold on. It was sitting on the base of it, so I flipped. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yay. Uh, Talix. So, uh, first Talix wants to see what we're looking at here. Um, he's going to move up and try to get some visual on. Now this. We don't really see this. We just see yeah. You just see waves. Maybe uh, some some raised water. Yeah, and and uh, everything happens what? simultaneously. So we see like the dagger that broke through, like seemingly hit something for a moment. Like it, it didn't go its full trajectory. It stopped. Uh, like there was something in the water, and then it fell straight down. Uh, Talik's just gonna cast uh, Shillelagh on his staff and just keep watching and try to I guess hold an attack ap action just in case something leaps within his reach and looks like it's going to attack okay then we'll move over to Pip Pip 
Pip. Uh, I think Pip is just going to move over towards uh, Rakella, just to, like right next to her, and just make sure that nothing comes near her in mm -hmm. her direction. Um, and Pip is going to. I think Pip is just going to take the dodge action for now. Okay. And that brings us over to the Water Guardian. Um, where you finally see something rising up from the surface of the river. Um, and it's sort of like this long snake-like shape uh, with uh, bits of uh, water tendrils just floating behind it, sort of like whiskers. Uh, and it, it just slithers forward. Most of its body is still inside of the water, but it seems to be made of water itself, just part of the river uh, come to life. Uh, and moving over here, which would leave uh, Squeak's reach um, if that does anything I don't think he can take attacks of opportunity okay uh... mm -mm -mm -mm. and from here uh, it, it extends these tendrils of water towards Brooke from this uh, uh, from this 10 foot distance. So Brooke does a 19 hit. Yeah. These tendrils slam onto you. Uh, they hit hard despite the fact that you just got hit by water uh for a total of 13 bludgeoning damage and you are grappled and pulled five feet forward oh, okay. okay hold up now i was yeah. holding my attack action can Talix not swing at the tendrils that reached out um you don't have a ten especially as soon as they I don't know, the, the tendrils, they're five feet away from me. Like, yeah. what the things that reached out right next to me, can I not swing and try to whack those? Uh. And break them as they're pulling in Brooke? Okay, yeah, uh, go ahead and make an attempt. So you won't, like, stop the attack, but you can prevent Brooke from being uh, pulled into the water. Yeah, I want to try to break the tentacles. Mm -hmm. Go for it. It will okay. be just an attack roll against its AC. Okay. Match one. Oh, dang. oh, oh fuck. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, do I roll like that, huh? Well, I wasn't going to make you roll damage, but roll damage. Well, just it doesn't have to damage it's the thing 20. itself. I just want to know if I break the. Th okay. Whatever. Yeah. Uh. Yes. Second at 20 of the day? Uh, no, first one for me. <laughs> Alright. 12 bludgeoning uh, magical shillelagh. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 I got a wrong thing. Uh, so where the dagger didn't seem to do, uh, to do much, your magical staff uh, um, easily cuts through the tendrils like like it should like it should do through water um but your motion is sufficient to like sever the rest of the tendrils that were uh, beginning to pull brook of all people uh forward and like he he's right there on the edge of the river uh by the time you intervene and he's just able to to keep his footing and uh remain where he is Um, then it moves back. Da, 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 here. No, here is fine, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it can go What's the pole very sound? far. What? <laughs> uh, it can swim a lot. 
Um, okay. Pontifex, your turn. <laughs> checking distance, I'm checking distance. Okay, so uh, two things. Um, first, I would normally not ask these kinds of questions, but this seems exactly Pontifex's thing. Uh, would he know anything about what is a water guardian water elementals since the whole like primal yeah. magics elemental planes is like his whole deal yes uh he would know that it's possible to summon these beings uh, uh sort of like these these spirits uh, uh into forms uh, um that match a certain element uh, he would be very familiar with this. He would have seen wizards do it countless times, and he would know that j these um, creatures, unless you are in the Sea of Chaos, uh, in one of the planes, uh, in one of the other planes, um, these things would have to be created by someone and would be working for someone. Okay, so it's not unless like a it works differently. so much as like it's been summoned, but like this is a sentient thing. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Would he know, do these speak a primordial language? Like Aquan? Like, I don't, I don't know. Is that like the language of the planes? Uh, yeah, they do. Perfect. Uh, then he's going to use his telepathic feat, which requires us to share a language, which we do. Uh, he's going to try to talk to it uh, and give it like a... a yeah, I think he's going to try to talk it down uh, in his telepathy thing. Hold on, I have a, g I have a gimmick. Oh my god, you know Primordial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, here we go. I have a gimmick for this exact kind of thing for my telepathy. I think I pulled it out once before. Uh, he, like, zones into its head after, you know, recognizing what this thing is and knowing that he speaks its language <laughs> somehow. And, uh... Uh, we mean you uh, no harm. You may leave, please. <laughs> uh, you must leave. <gasps> <laughs> oh, Did that work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you also have gimmicks. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out if you speak in primordial, you echo. <laughs> This is not your own. Crap. <laughs> I feel like this is probably too much conversation for a six second round. Uh... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. uh... Yeah, you can. Uh... One more sentence. Okay, uh. You didn't Pontifex. think this far? Pontifex would think this, uh, would think a lot faster than Matt does. My <laughs> int is my dump score, not his. Uh, uh, please just relate. let us pass. We will be gone soon. I am a friend of uh, the place. I speak your tongue. You can trust me. <laughs> Roll persuasion check with disadvantage. <laughs> yeah! Uh, persuasion. My specialty. <laughs> uh, that's not going to work. Uh, okay, uh, I guess then for my... Uh, he's going to hold, I, I guess, ready a... Sp uh, He's gonna ready toll the dead on. Uh, I guess he saw Talix whack the tendrils. Why not? I guess he's gonna hold toll the dead to the tendrils if something reaches out to try to grab someone. I don't know. Just try to like disrupt them. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, and uh, just in in reply to that, the the the. It, the telepathy works two ways, right? It is all telepathic. Uh, I don't think it allows them to respond. 
oh, I think oops. it's one direction. I thought uh, I was replying back in your head. Uh, you can speak telepathically to any creature you can see within 60 feet. Your telepathic utterances are in a language you know, and the creature understands you only if it knows that language. Your communication does not give the creature the ability to respond to you telepathically. Mm. It explicitly says no. Okay, small problem. This thing actually can't speak. <laughs> I thought uh, the telepathy uh, worked. You did both a vibe ways. check on it. You did a vibe check. <laughs> um, so, hey, yeah, telepathy. You understand that it seems to be protective of this area. Um, and so, thus, not willing to just uh, um, let any of you go. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, at the beginning of the round. Hey! <laughs> More bits of water just seem to emerge uh, from the river. Um, and to be kind of... Um, Sort of like they're trying to surround you, and it just looks like the waves are extending a little bit further and a little bit further onto the shoreline. Um, and then this, this water, instead of dispersing and being absorbed into the, into the ground, um, they just come over. So starting from number two, which is this one, uh, on Tekka. Uh, that is yeah, Tekka, nine... Helda. Take oh yeah, dodge. he's dodging. This is a 9 to hit. Yeah, that's the lowest. Uh, so as this water extends up from the ground and tries to smack uh, at your ankles, so you just very easily, you're, you're very um, agile, very light on your feet, and you just jump right over it. Oh. Oh. Quick, check the stream. Pog, pog, pog. Sorry, uh, the cats unplugged my headphones, which breaks oh, no. my microphone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so next, uh, another just mass of moving water, uh, approaching Talix from the side uh, and trying to uh, grab his feet. I am not rolling with his advantage, but I think an 11 misses. It does miss. Okay, so both of them made their entrance and it wasn't that imp uh, impressive. And they'll be like this. Okay, uh, Brooke. Mm hmm. We're back to you. I see. Huh. I will take actually take out my katana. Do uh, uh, the slice of myself. I activate a crimson right. And I take. Two damage, and this time, instead of lighting up, or it freezes, mm. I can't. Well, imagine I have 21 HP. And since I am not really good on range... I am imagining I will... it. <laughs> I'll take Puddle Guardian 1. <laughs> okay. Okay. With a fourteen. Fourteen hits. A and four. One second. Uh, 
Oh, oh. no. <laughs> well, for eight normal damage and one for oh. <laughs> damage. Cold damage, I mean. <laughs> oh. One cold damage. That's probably doubled. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Might heal it. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't know. <laughs> uh hmm. That's not, that I have is... no idea about D and D, but frozen or cold damage seemed like a smart idea to water. If it feels like being more solid. Uh huh. Okay, if I'm <laughs> if I'm seeing this right, uh, um, uh, na 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 na. When you activate the right, you lose more hit points. Blah blah blah. For the duration, attacks from this weapon deal initial one four damage to chosen type. This damage is magical. Okay, but the weapon itself is not magical. Nope. That's why I said eight normal or well slicing. Okay. And a one cold. And then uh, you, you got this feeling when you toss the dagger into the river, but uh, especially now with the way your sword is just cutting uh, through this uh, bit of water uh, that is just sort of shaped like a bunch of waves all folded onto each other. Um, you're, you're cutting through it and meeting barely any resistance, and it sort of like uh, looks like the, the, the mass of water is barely losing uh, any any material to it. Um, it doesn't seem like you're de doing as much damage to it as uh, you would like to, but mm -hmm. you're still hurting it. Mm -hmm. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Nope, that's my turn. Then Tekka. <laughs> what? What? Why are you laughing? Uh, Sorry. Matt like something. I had a, I had a, a vision, more of just what? thrashing a sword into water, and it just like making the loud like <laughs> slapping noises. But then I saw this, and I said, "No, this is better. Magical weapons, <laughs> cheat codes." <laughs> Back home, our river holds life. Have we learned nothing from the former night? Our goal is not here. We should go. I'm inclined to agree. Uh, I spoke to it. I can do that. And uh, <laughs> it does not seem aggressive as much as it is protective. It simply wants us to leave. Huh. Could have said that before I attack. <laughs> I believe this whole river is perhaps its territory, so if we are to cross it. We'll have to deal with this. As uh, uh, Raquel uh, takes a step back away from the things, visibly uh, scared by what just emerged from the river. She says, ah, yeah, we don't have to cross the river, just follow it upstream. Then we should move. Uh, it is of note that uh, this is uh, not a creature native to these plains. Uh, and this was summoned. Someone or something brought it here and it might not be alone. That's sufficient uh, conversation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if Tekka is allowed to make one move, uh, he's going to drop his backpack and take the basin from his rain catcher and try to sort of like hold a puddle guardian down with it in sort of a grapple. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it with the tarp. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, you have a rain catcher. <laughs> the one cloth you wait, can use to actually wait. catch water. Talix always carries a sham well with him. <laughs> <laughs> it's super effective. <laughs> Take a water elemental to go. <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what how that looks, uh, but yeah, Tech will just grab that basin and put a cover on this puddle guardian. <laughs> Oh my god, um, okay. 
Roll. So this is going to be an attack roll with an improvised weapon, which I don't believe you're proficient. Uh, um, no, <laughs> not proficient with using a base. And mind. because it's not finesse, you wouldn't add. You would have to add your strength to it. Uh, so roll an attack roll with strength, but at advantage. Okay. Uh, does it matter that the goal is not to attack, but just to hinder? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, well. Uh, well, actually, alternatively, since you're doing a quote-unquote grapple, you could do an athletics check against it, and then yeah, it would be contested. That, I would like that. Okay, let's do that. Against uh, either of these. That is a natural mm -mm, total 12. Hey! Wait, you didn't nice. roll with his advantage. Wait, or advantage. Oh, oh with advantage. Okay. Uh, do I... Okay, I can roll uh, again. Well, I mean, you already passed it. In case you roll a natural 20. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. You gotta add the seems... counter. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that's no, true. No, it's fine. I'll no. take my words for the counter. counter. <laughs> <laughs> you put a lid on uh, this mm, angry mass of water. Yeah, and I think he's just down. sitting on the basin, just like holding it down with his body weight. <laughs> <laughs> That's his turn. Just okay. look into the others. Hey, are we going? What are we doing? <laughs> Squeak. Which way's upstream, you dimwits? <laughs> this way. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> the opposite way of the water. Okay. Uh, Squeak just begins to uh, yep. to fly upstream and then very quickly is just gone. Uh, I thought... Yeah? I thought upstream was north. Yeah. We approached from the east. You? Oh yeah, the map is turned Broken. around. Broken. <laughs> the, the north wouldn't be Cheater. this way. <laughs> Sorry, Come on! <laughs> 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 again. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Talix. Okay, so is this thing like on Brook, like attacking him, like trying to pull him? Yeah, trying to grab his legs. All right. Which thing is trying to grab my legs? The, the little ankle biter. It wasn't um, even its turn. Well, it was trying to get Talix's, but it's a it it a preposition itself, so it's more like blocking more of the group. If I can, I just try to like push Brook out of it and like get us away. Can you I want to push me? Yeah, I'm gonna try to push you. Yeah. Um, if I you only weigh like three times my weight, it's fine. <laughs> If I remember correctly, uh, correctly pushing is the same thing as doing a grapple check. Uh, um, but I, I guess somebody can just fail willingly, huh? You can choose to fail checks, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I've, well, I'm just trying to get him out of the. Is this thing holding him? No, no, it's not, it, it, no. No, oh, it has not. It No, he's he's okay. cutting it. <laughs> Well, then I'm just <laughs> gonna try to like push him away as we're getting away. Just get away from the edge! Huh. So, All right. you could. The uh, problem so with should pushing. We just, like, save that for his movement. Well, the, 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 problem with, that's what I'm doing. the problem with pushing is that you'll, you'll, you'll only get him five feet away from the current position anyway. Okay, I'll do it. Whatever. Okay, yeah. Uh, and Brooke can willingly decide to be pushed. And end up fighting around by a half elf. <laughs> Pushes back. All of a sudden, Telex lands here. <laughs> Don't push me. 20 next dirty. Don't even try it. <laughs> I'll let him push me. Uh, Wait, no, you're in front of him. Yeah, well. I'll just. So that was my action, right? Mm hmm. 
All right, I'll just, uh, I don't know, I guess just hold my shield towards the thing and just keep trying to go that way slowly, I guess. So we'll see what happens next turn. Okay. And uh, Sid, I have given you an inspiration for the rain catcher idea. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Pip, That's so your good. turn. That's great. Uh, Pip looks down at this puddle guardian and his eyes uh, sort of, the, the irises contract a little bit and Pip clenches his fist and he's going to try and push it uh, away from Talix and Brooke. Uh, so it needs to make a strength saving throw. Uh, 14. 14 is just what it needed. Um, and so Pip just sort of, ugh. nope, he doesn't do that. He can't, <laughs> well, he can vocalize that way. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to like get, it, it's just, you can, you can feel like your, your, your magic pushing up against it, but you also just see the water like bending inward a little bit. Um, so it's, it's like you're, you're. You're just leaving a dent in it, but it's not Is moving. there like a palm print? Yeah. Invisible palm being pressed yep. into it? <laughs> That's cool. Uh, Pip just... <clears throat> and we'll grab Raquel by the arm and just start running in this direction. She'll come with. Okay. Uh, roll a perception, ch perception check. Okay. Eleven. Right. Uh, nothing unusual going on. Sounds great. <laughs> yeah, clearly. And as uh, um, this snake-like uh, water figure um, pushes up from the water again and sees some of you moving north towards the correct north, it just rushes forward. Um, can... No. It cannot. It will come all the way here and then drag it itself ever so slightly onto the land. And then attempt to strike at Talix. Can I try to uh, you are zap holding the, your... the, yep. the things? Yep. Yeah. So you do that first. Uh, has to make a, a, a DC 14 wisdom save. Eh, natural three this is not gonna uh, cut. Cool. Uh, is this thing already damaged? Yes. Awesome. So it is gonna take uh, this much whenever it rolls. Nine points of necrotic damage. Which it takes fully. And so you see uh, just the yeah. uh, bits of water just splattering in many directions. Uh, um, and now it's like. Now that it's fully out Leave of the water. It to the frog wizard uh, to age water. <laughs> <laughs> now that it's fully out of the water, you actually remove some of it from its body and it gets like just a little bit smaller. Uh and then it attacks Alex. Uh thirteen to hit. That is a miss. With my shield, so okay. You were you were ready for this. You're just you're just trying to get away. Um, so you're you're very much on the defensive. And when you see the thing actually drag itself out of the water and being nearly as tall as you are, uh, you raise up your shield and boom, boom. Uh, the the tendrils hit it a couple of times, and it sounds it just makes this solid noise. Uh, but um, you are. You're safe. 
Pontifex. Matt. Uh, yes. Uh, that is me now. Uh, the Puddle Guardian, it's covered by the tarp, right? No, by the basin. Oh, it covered by the rain catcher, right? Yeah. 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 Is it blinded? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> he says, uh, well, if we're going to cheese it, let's cheese it. And uh, he's going to go. Um, that's as far as I can get. Uh, and I guess he's going to dash because he's the slowest one. That's Number it. two uh, will attempt to break free from the grapple, uh, which I believe it's uh, it's the same check, right? He just yeah, that sounds the right. opposite. Uh, escaping a grapple must succeed in a strength or yeah, athletics or acrobatics against Tekka's athletics. Ten. Wait, I just rolled Matt's... Uh, sorry. <laughs> I just huh? used uh, Matt's tower. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> wait, wait, what? I, I got completely turned around. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why you didn't get the nat 20. Purple and orange are very similar yeah. colors. Your first mistake. Don't use and Polyfix's blue. dice tower. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it breaks free. Um, the okay, you're not ruling it. The the, the, the sum is correct. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Uh, so you, you put your entire weight uh, onto the rain catcher, but ultimately you're not the yeah you're not particularly heavy, and uh, um, this thing that is directly beneath you just. Um, pushes up uh, until you're on your side and you get right back on your feet. Um, uh, but that did use up its action. So it's sort of like coming forward towards the other one. Uh, but it just l slithers a little bit past you, Tekka, but still very much uh, uh, near you. And then this one... Uh, we'll go for Talix. For a 19 to hit. Oh. That'll do it. And uh, 7 bludgeoning damage. Then back to Brooke. <clears throat> We were told to just oh, leave. My legs. Uh, can I? He's grappled, right? He's not. Oh, he's These not. things are too small to <clears throat> actually take. It seems like it is too small to take hold of Talix. Those things are chasing us. <laughs> can I? You know what, Talix? Are you okay? Can I just leave? <laughs> Everyone just run. Hope that your legs are better suited for land than theirs. All right, I will pull. I will pull Telex with me after he pushed me and leave. Does it half my movement if I pull him? I guess so. Cool. We're just going to take half of our movements at a time between our two turns. <laughs> you might still keep up with Pontifex. <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do I pull him the whole way behind me? Uh, or how does this work? Sure. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, and you're going to take two attacks of opportunity. They will both be on Brooke. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, one is... Uh, 
One is a 13 and one is a 22. Nope. Yeah. Four. Womp. Four. Legend in damage. Um. Oh, well, you. Hold on. Yeah. What? I guess grabbing. There. <laughs> There is no such thing as like taking a person with you in like yeah, the indie so mechanics. Um, I guess you'd have you to like him. right, and then yeah, you, so you so and then if they and then you drag, you pull yeah. them with you. So yeah. that works, and it does mean he uses up his action to do so. So it all works out. Boom. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Tekka. <laughs> ah, yeah. Hmm. What is the right course of action here? Uh, yeah, Tekka will grab the basin from the ground and do a quick little leap to the side. Probably get struck by a tendril or two on the way. Uh, they've already taken the reactions, actually. Oh! Great! Um, yeah, you took advantage just go, just of... Go. <laughs> you used okay. Rook as a distraction. Alex said go, so he's going and he's <laughs> gone. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> oh, he's oh. fast. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel a, a breeze go by. <laughs> Are there air elementals here too? <laughs> <laughs> um, squeak. Well, squeak is already uh. also. No, I'm coming back. Oh, he is. Uh, yeah. You guys are hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you a tall glass of water? And uh, he... Uh, <laughs> he comes sorry. over here and says, Hey, look at me! And then his bones break. <laughs> and then uh, sliding out of his skin are these long uh, tentacles as... Squeak turns into a squid. So Squeak is now Squink. <laughs> and we'll just yell out to the uh, water guardian. Hey, look, I'm in your river. What are you going to do? <laughs> I just attempted to search in my bag for a Squeak. I have an octopus. Excellent. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> this oh, is just more perfect. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Why does it work? <laughs> Squid. Squid of the Lucas Trots for Tug in the second. <laughs> <laughs> trying to drop back into the water. Squeak of Thulu. Okay. Squeak Thulu. Uh, okay, and it gets all the way here and it's trying to get the attention of the big one. Mm. Alright. Talix, you're being dragged. I can hear you talk, but I don't hear you through Discord. Sorry, I am casting spike growth up in this area. Spike so, growth? Yeah. At a, oh, wow, this is a 20-foot radius. That's huge. Spikes. Huh. It's going to be difficult terrain. Probably especially difficult for them. Maybe? It's going to be full of... of Thorny plants. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to cast it where even I am within the area. Uh, do we have a 20 foot circle somewhere? 20 foot radius, it says, so. That's huge. Yeah, it is. Uh, I used to, I think they're broken. They're either broken or they're not. Uh, uh, radius. Uh, yeah, it doesn't fit the grid. 
Okay, whatever. Uh, Where'd he go? I'm gonna censor it here. I guess. I, I am probably, well, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. Something like that. Huh. How's that? Seem, that works. Does that seem okay? Yep, it looks like a face. It'll <laughs> slow them down and damage them a little bit as we run away. And hopefully we're just faster than they are. Okay, got it. And then you, you you move. Oh yeah, uh, I I'm gonna pull Brooke to no avail. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Uh, go on without me. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll just start running. <laughs> I'll let go of Brooke's hand and just. Uh, I'm not gonna get too far yet. I'm gonna make sure that uh, that Pip and everyone can go. Well, I guess then I used an action, so that's <clears throat> as far as I can go. Pip and Raquel uh, are running together? Yes. Uh, and Pip's bonus action is used to uh, have squeak attack, since he can do that now. <laughs> He's a rogue. Um, he does squeak attack. <laughs> squeak attack. Very nice. <laughs> nice. It does um, do poison, right? Uh, it does. That's roguey. Um, and so... Wait, 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 I have a thing. Okay, go on. <laughs> Thank you, nice. And so, Squeak's attacks are also now considered magical for the purpose of overcoming immunity and resistance to uh -huh. magical attacks. If that matters. It does. Uh, Alright, so let's do this. This is more just Squeak, you know, still trying to draw the attention of the, uh, the thing so mm -hmm. that they stop chasing the everyone else. <clears throat> nice. <laughs> Eight misses. And then Pip just keeps running with Rakella. Okay. Yeah, she'll uh she'll run with you. Um she can only do, she has a Pontifex's uh, running speed, so you're moving, if you're going with her, it will be 20 feet at a time. Okay. Ah, uh, but yeah, she's coming with, she's trying very hard to keep up. Um, and uh, the Water Guardian in return does indeed uh, um, refocus uh, on Squeak. And I just rolled two dice for no reason. Um... <laughs> And attempts to grab him. That's 22 to hit. Mm hmm. Or. 10 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Squeak has resistance, thankfully. Otherwise, he would have been dead. He is grappled. Uh huh. Nice, nice. Pulled towards it, but it's already there. Um. <clears throat> then with the five feet of movement it gets when it's out of the water, uh, it gets back in the land, uh, uh, in the river, and here... Uh, so, did he move It through... takes damage, right? It's a 2d4 per five feet? 2d4 per five feet, yeah. Yeah. Is it also... Does it also slow down? Yes. It's difficult terrain. Ah, uh, hmm. If I okay, if he has, if it has five feet of movement and it's halved, I would argue that it's actually stuck. No? Yeah, it's, it rounds it's, down in five feet. I thought you always get five feet. Um, because like you can't, you can't be made to not move from difficult terrain. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you always get at least one step every turn. Mm, type, type, Look type, it up, type. nerds. <laughs> They're looking at the manual for these weird rules. Sometimes Under the rules, happen. a creature with only one square of movement, also known as five feet speed, cannot move into a square of difficult terrain unless it dashes to gain extra movement. Oh. oh. 
Okay. Okay. Since it attacked and grappled Squeak, it can't move. It's stuck on land. Um, yeah. It also means he doesn't take the damage, though. Right? Because it, right. it only happens when it moves. When he moves, yeah. Okay. Uh, Pontifex. Nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, and which the water guardian was the one that's like getting stuck on thorns, right? Uh, or yeah, well, them. the thorns everywhere. <clears throat> yes. So uh, none of them were able to move? These ones have gotten on land with much more ease than the big snake like one. Uh, so you, but you imagine all of them are slowed down, just not to the same degree. Okay, and uh, which is the one that uh, that Brooke was slapping? Is it one? Uh, Puddle Guardian one. Yeah, number two has taken no damage yet. Okay, then yeah, I think Pontifex is gonna like look back over his shoulder and uh, he's gonna blast at that one. Okay. Uh, DC fourteen wisdom save. Keep forgetting my uh, my. There we go. Believe <laughs> <laughs> that. It's been a minute since uh, since he's goaded. Uh, six. Yeah. Cool. He's gonna take this much necrotic, and then he's going. To move up and takes four necrotic damage. Got it. And that's it. All right. What they do on the return is moving. They will be 10 feet each, so each of them will take 46 damage total, right? And they're dashing, so that's oh, as far uh, as they it's go. It's 2d4. It's yeah, 2D4 per, per 5 feet of movement, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 44. I, that's... Did I not you say that? You said 46. Yeah, you said 46. Oh. Wow, I meant D4, so I'm holding D4s. <laughs> okay. The floor also sneak attacks. <laughs> so that's <laughs> six and four, so ten on the number one. Which is still up, but um, there's like about half of its mass of water left on it. And uh, the number two, five plus uh, seven, so twelve. Which is the first damage it's actually taken. Oh wait, what kind of damage is it? It's piercing. They might be resistant. Does this count it as magic? I don't think it's. <laughs> I. I don't know. It's. I like yeah, it's a spell, but it's all magic damage done by spells. Yeah. Is magic, I think. It. All right. I think it's I magically. Know. It's. It is magically conjured. Um. So you know, like. If you create a a thorn, the thorn is magical. Okay. Uh, the five E rule: there is no such thing as magical damage per se. There is only damage from regular sources, also known as mundane, and damage from magical sources. If the source of the damage is magical, like from a spell or a magical weapon, then the damage overcomes resistance against damage from non-magical sources. <clears throat> sure, go. let's go with that. Uh, so they take the full extent of the damage. We're going um, deep in the rule book today. <laughs> we are. Yeah. So yeah, despite the despite the the, the lack of uh, uh, a proper uh, a physical body to these things, uh, they are definitely getting slowed down by the terrain, and the thorns are digging into them and slowly reducing their total size. Uh, Brooke, you are free to leave. E in fact, so is everybody. Zoom. Everyone, <laughs> the whole party, no one left behind. Uh, we can. Uh, Pip's next action will be to uh, make Squeak go. Okay. Yeah, figure as much. That's going to happen before the Water Guardian's <clears throat> next turn. Uh, so, unless Squeak wants to do something on his turn, or if any of you want to turn back and blast these for any reason. <laughs> um, no, that's alright. I'm just going okay. to assume that Squeak is totally fine. <laughs> then I'm uh, gonna run with the group. Then we can end combat. Okay. Oh. Uh, Squeak had... summons uh, 
or Pip summons Squeak back to his shoulder and is surprised when it's just a a wet mass of tentacles that's now soaking into his clothes. <laughs> mm. I'm thinking about the uh, what it would feel like to have that a on wet your, mass on your of tentacles. Yeah, to have on your shoulders. <laughs> I don't, just, need to I don't know if there's a better analogy for a wet <laughs> mass <Yeah>. of tentacles. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, you all follow the stream uh, up towards uh, towards the, the source of the river. Um, Hold on. Uh, I'm yeah. going to stop a little early to ask what the hell is going on. <laughs> what, what were those things? Ra Raquelah? What? I, I don't what know. What do you remember about that? Uh, you knew what they were, didn't you? The, Is this whole... Are we going to see more of those things? The first time I came here, I... Ah, it felt... It felt... I think they just let me go? I could just go. So were they the ones that did the bad thing to you that sure? No, 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 it, it wasn't them. It was... Was it whatever created them? Yes, yes, there is someone else. Uh, a woman. Okay, are we about to... <laughs> are you leading us? To fight uh, some sort of witch? What is this? A witch. Witch. The witch of the river. Yes. Yes. She's a witch. She did this to me. She's a witch? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> we should turn her back now. <laughs> So you, what do you want us to do with this witch exactly? You didn't tell us. <laughs> yeah, very good. You didn't tell us what we'd be up against. What are we expected to do, to do here? What kill her? I, I just, what's been done to me needs to be undone. I need, I need to remember. Perhaps okay, a negotiation. Before we go any further. Where? Everyone. Oh, please. I am so sorry. I It was not my intention to put you in danger. I just... I need... I need to go back. Uh, Squeak turns back into a, a rat and crawls into Pip's soggy uh, uh, neckwear. And Pip says... Um... I mean, we could try and help her, but when witches give a curse, they don't remove it lightly. Suppose you've heard some stories, huh? Uh, yeah. I am working on a hunch here. Uh, I think he says to Raquel in Primordial, uh, I guess Aquan or just whatever primordial, whatever the, the, the tongue, the problem would be, and asks, uh, can you understand me? She uh, looks back at Pontifex with a, a bit of a vacant, uh, confused expression, then looks at the others. She didn't really seem to uh, get that you were, you, you were even talking to her in the first place. Uh, perhaps not. I'm presuming that uh, your lost memories are you have somehow angered this witch of the river who is a powerful conjurer. She can call elemental beings from the primal planes uh, and cursed you for whatever reason. I feel like there is some sort of grudge going on here. And... If I'm being frank, these uh, creatures attacking anyone that comes near the river is 
likely dangerous for any travelers going to the river for fresh water source. So it would be a problem that extends beyond just our unfortunate friend here. Someone needs to deal with it. Is everyone else in agreement? <clears throat> I mean, we already started it, right? Is the is the grass and water where we are now still magical, or was it just back in that little zone? Oh, it's it, the the sense of the era being magical is growing the further up you uh, up, uh, the further up you follow the the river. You will convey that. I think we are getting closer. Tag uh, the slight feeling is getting bigger. Yes, Pip. You said that there comes a time where you have to decide who you dis who you choose to save. And I'm getting that feeling. Mm. We can help her. Then we follow that feeling. If someone can control a river, we cannot overcome them. We should consider a trade. Trade? Trading what? Those of power always seek a trade. Well, <clears throat> does she have anything to give? Do you have anything <clears throat> to give, Ella? I no longer remember. I think I think I have relatives, but but I need to go back to them. I can't. Uh, maybe I have a place. No, no, I don't have a home. Uh, I do not know what possessions I have. Just these clothes on me. Don't think claws will be enough. <laughs> Seem to work for Tekka. If uh, this person will want possessions, yes, Pip. Do you have something in mind? I'm I'm just saying that what this person might want I don't think it has anything to do with material goods. It may have already taken something from Raquela. Hmm. You are wise, Pip. I think you may be right. Okay. Uh, just be ready for anything, I guess. We might stop a little ways before we uh before we reach our destination. How close is this cave, Rakala? Close. Uh, very close. I suggest we get away from the water for a bit. Look our wounds and figure out our plan. Okay. We can end a session here. And you guys can think about this and then I believe we're actually playing this upcoming Sunday. Oh yeah. crap. Really? <laughs> right? Oh, more this, this is the part where Oh my goodness! There is a raid happening right now that I have just said that, that we're ending oh, the stream. No. <laughs> right as we're ending the session. Oh no. <laughs> Welcome to the end of the stream. Hey, hey Raiders. Feel free to check come, out those VODs. Come join uh, us this like, Sunday. Check the VODs or view us on Sunday. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to to hold you guys any further i i know that matt needs to go need to do, yeah, to do. sleep panic Sorry to do the party pooper mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. panic to it's deep okay. cleaning of the house party poopers 
<laughs> Yay! We're pooping the party. Nice. You're pooping parties. What are you? Some kind of. Okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> very obscure reference. Okay. Um, and yeah, yeah, your your plan Goodbye, is to everyone. just. Oh, I was just gonna make sure I I, uh, I understood. So you guys want to like keep get some distance away from the river, uh, settle down, or just bandage up, uh, uh, and discuss things, and then um. Okay, a short there. rest. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. Yes. It was a great stream. We did have a great stream. <laughs> Thank you. <Yes>. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Welcome, everyone. Uh, and yet, it's it's the end of the session. So I hope I hope you guys had fun. Um, yeah. yeah. Ooh, definitely. definitely. And yeah, this this was. I hope it worked out despite being uh, um, very sudden. <laughs> We usually don't play on Tuesdays. Um, I'm very excited for this part. We usually play on Sundays. At what time? <laughs> 1 p.m. <laughs> Central. Thanks. That checks out. Yeah. <laughs> UTC. Oh, so <laughs> UTC. <laughs> okay. All right. This will be the the end of the stream then. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, bye bye. Bye. See ya. Check out the vods. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Check the vods. Check the vods. Buy my merch. <laughs> <laughs>